Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to peek in at Yellowstone, the Sombrero Galaxy, a new concept surrounding dark matter, an excellent study confirming some critical things we saw in the sun last solar cycle, and, of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were quiet once again, but this time they've quieted here at Earth as well. No solar flares, no significant eruptions, the coronal holes are too close to the poles to significantly impact Earth, and the solar storm has finally subsided from the CME impact four days ago. We're back in the green here, but remember, the ionospheric, technological, biological, and meteorological impacts continue for 36 to 48 hours after the solar storm ends. While the bigger sunspots are departing to the right towards the far side, new ones are incoming on the south, bottom left looks to have some complexity as well there. Folks, a great reminder of why Yellowstone is broken. This hydrothermal eruption last week is the kind of pressure that the volcano would need to keep inside in order to have its scary explosive eruption. As long as it can release pressure like this, its only eruption threats are these hydro ones and effusive bubbling magmatic events. She's a venter hold space. Up next, we're comparing Hubble's view of the Sombrero Galaxy to James Webb. Once again, we see the proof of why this infrared specialty camera is in fact changing everything about what astronomers know about space. Pretty amazing. Interesting new theory about dark matter next. Oh, it's solitons now. Bose-Einstein condensate. Oh, and it's shape-shifting, which is why we can't spot it? Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Jokes aside, and this new theory is one, at least it's a light-based solution rather than axions or wimps. Half a golf clap for that one. Lastly, folks, solar anomalies last cycle confirmed. We had previously seen how coronal magnetic field changes were surging helium production. Now those magnetic changes are broken down in greater detail. And indeed, the change in the pattern happened when we thought it did. Cycle 24, confirmation of the solar change in the solar system shift, and one that will lead to the great solar flash at the zenith of this disaster cycle, likely in the next 20 years. Goldobservers.com is our sponsor for the documentary on this topic coming out later this year. The cycles on the Earth and beyond, how it's impacting us and what's about to happen, including the greatest of events from the sun, which usher in the next age of Earth. Gold and silver is your backstop against economic uncertainty. It's a top possession in a barter breakdown scenario, and presuming you are not so inept as to not have food and basic prep solidified, Gold and silver will both be extremely useful metals in the aftermath as well. Prep like the experts, leave nothing out. Goldobservers.com are part of the Observer family and they'll help you fill the gaps. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.